often people talk about silence. Like so many things in life, silence have many faces. For a moment, ex explore the silence when your father was angry on you, or your mother was angry on you, and the kind of silence it creates in the environment. Or you had a fight with your spouse, and for days that silence continues. Imagine that silence. The silence after meditation or during meditation, reflect to that silence. Silence that one experiences, the deepest of all. Recollect those moments and see the depth of that silence. Sometimes, all of a sudden it grips you. So silence itself has a spectrum of its own. And through that silence after, when we communicate through this silence, imagine two individuals in their extreme love, what would they do anyway? They'll be silent. And Babuji Maharaj glorifies this silence by stating, silence is the language of God. If I have to understand the other person, I must know that person's language, that person's feelings. If I have to know God and realize God, I have to begin with this first learning his language. Lovers explain their utmost love and respect for each other in silence. Silence is an expression of inner love, tremendous love we have for each other. not jumping into the other end of the spectrum where there is eeriness, irritability, anger, not that silence, but the tremendous depth. So much so that in that silence, you are dissolved and the other person is also dissolved. God is dissolved anyway, having created the universe. His job was done at Babaji says. He too is dissolved. He is to be found in our hearts. He has hidden himself in our hearts. We need to expose him somehow and allow him to express itself from within. And if God is within our hearts, then another logical conclusion would be, if I had to express God from within, it is only through silence. 